ಭಗವಾನ್ ಆದಿಶಂಕರ ದ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬಿಲಾಂಗ್ ಟು ಎನಿ ರಿಲಿಜನ್ ಎನಿ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಎನಿ ಜಿಯೋಗ್ರಫಿ ಬ್ಲೆಸ್ಟಸ್ ದ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ರಮ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಹೌ ಟು ಲುಕ್ ಎಟ್ ಲೈಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಪರ್ಪಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪಲ್ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ದ್ವಾದಶ ಮಂಜರೀಕ ಸ್ತೋತ್ರ ಮಂಜರೀಕ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಬೊಕೆ ಪಲ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಯು ಪುಟ್ ದೆಮ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಮೇಡ್ ಎ ಬೊಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಆಫರ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಟು ದ ಹ್ಯುಮ್ಯಾನಿಟಿ ಈಚ್ ಶ್ಲೋಕ ಇಸ್ ಸಚ್ ಎ ಪವರ್ಫುಲ್ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಮೆಲೋಡಿಯಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುಯಲ್ ಸಾಧನ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಗ್ಯಾದರ್ not how much information you have collected no how many times you are munching what you have put in your mouth we are so hasty we are not munching anything because we are not munching there is always indigestion and the sattva the nutrients are not getting into the blood stream we are we are pleasing the taste buds we think that is the only responsibility we have and beyond that we don't know what happens every way in every dimension we have reduced ourselves to that kind of impulsive impatient munching mechanism is it not have you ever tasted the food no even to taste the food you have to prepare yourself the meditative mood has to be there and then when you put that and before putting that you have the space to see to feel to connect you have to connect with that foot and then while connecting you should understand how this foot is connected with the universal self it means you are taking the universal self into yourself so it is a tapas even taking food is a tapas then it goes through the process first it touches the taste and gives you madhura bhava to your whole personality then it goes through mastication where it has been broken and converted into almost like fluid then as your rasa it enters and then finally finally it reaches the blood stream if we take the right foot the waste material goes out in the morning should be very minimum 
should be very meaningful. It means you are respecting the food as Anna Brahma. If lots and lots you are throwing out, it means no, you are you are indulging and you are insulting. Is it not? I don't know why I am talking this nonsense, but... <laughs> so life has its own beauty, its own depth, its own meaning. The modern world has crushed that. Like the beautiful rose is there and you are crushing with your chapel. We are doing that. We are not realizing it. There is so much arrogance. There is so much violence. There is no sensitivity. For us, money is everything. Pleasure is everything. And for money and pleasure, I am ready to indulge in any violence. It may go to any extent. Places. Constantly we are satisfying these two urges, the money and the urge. And we have reduced the life only to these two. How I can make money? Because money is power. And how I can satisfy the urges and how I can strengthen my urges. Life is not to strengthen the urge. Life is to make that urge to thin away. Kshine vritte kah samsaraha. Kah samsaraha. Kshine vritte. Vayasigate kah kamavikaraha. Shushke nire kah kasaraha. Please see this. So the whole purpose is to reduce so that other streams open up. Other streams open up. If you don't work consciously in reducing the intensity of these streams, created by your ignorance as urge, as power, as whatever, the other streams which are there as the life streams blessed by the divinity, you don't touch, you don't experience. If you want to taste Ganga, go beyond Gomu. In Haridwar, no. In Calcutta, no. No, because it has already gathered. Gathered. We don't have any clue of what Ganga is. We don't have any clue. In that way, we don't have any clue about what life is. Absolutely. We have not touched the life, then how can you experience life? Right? Hmm? That's why Acharya Shankara and this Bhaja Govindam has given us 12 beautiful flowers. And you have to feel, you have to experience, and you have to adore. When you do that again and again and again in a repeated way, then a beautiful psyche evolves in you. You know what that psyche is? Respect. 
you know what respect means respect you know what respect means looking again you know what looking again means it means you have the freedom you have the innocence to look that is called looking again. it means you are not looking from the past you are looking from the vibrant now that is called respect that's called the respect if i say i am respecting you means i am in the space of now and i am looking at you from the space of now it means the past is not there it means the future is not there now that is called respect is it not we are demanding we are bullying you got to respect me tell me why i have to respect you why you have to respect me tell me why why what is there in you so that i have to respect you what is there in me so that you respect me one who experiences divinity he only knows how to respect and how to experience that respect no one else no one else huh repeat what did i say <laughs> if you have tasted that divinity then you know how to respect if you have not tasted the divinity no it is out of obligation out of compulsion out of fear out of some selfishness if i say i am respecting you because there is some selfishness behind that's why i'm respecting you i may need money from you i may need a favor from you i may need something from you that's why i'm respecting is it not if those things are there where is respect tell me where is respect so called the respect of the usual term right please please go into this sometimes while going in this one when you look at somebody without your knowledge you feel like respecting that person is it not even if it is a beggar right even if it is a beggar even if it is an unknown entity you feel like sometimes you you come across with great mathadishas and swami ji and all with everything you don't feel like even looking at that thing is it not ha you may do it out of fear if i don't look at him what will happen to me so at least let me save my skin uh, let me save my skin so friends bhaja govindam is a beautiful message what is that message satsangatve nissangatva nissangatve nirmohatva nirmohatve nischala tattva nischala tattve jeevan mukti hi again and again and again and again and again and again at least 32 times munch this food ಶಂಕರ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಶಂಕರ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಶಂಕರ ಹರ ಹರ ಶಂಕರ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಶಂಕರ ಹರ ಹರ ಶಂಕರ ಹರ ಹರ ಶಂಕರ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಶಂಕರ ಹರ ಹರ ಶಂಕರ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಶಂಕರ ಜಯ ಜಯ ಶಂಕರ ಹರ